Hi, I'm Rick and I'm in Beijing. Recently, some friends of mine overseas have been asking, how are you doing? Because of the resurgence of COVID-19 in Shanghai, where millions of people are under quarantine since the end of March. Well, how are they doing? The Show Me China team has contacted some people in Shanghai. Let's give them a chance to share their quarantine stories. First guy we're going to speak with, Charles Foldish. And how you doing, Charles? Thank you for having me. Well, you're a famous drummer. Well, there is a recent video that has gone viral lately uh, across the country. It's gotten a lot of uh, attention, both on social media and international uh, news media. And so, yeah, that's something interesting that I didn't anticipate. Uh, it was one of those nights where everybody was out on their balcony and everybody was singing songs in Shanghai, Jai O, Jai O. And so with this kind of festive atmosphere, I decided I would take the drums out on the balcony and uh, just play something short for the people just to see how they reacted. And so I played something short for them and everybody was really enthusiastic and really enjoyed it. And so they kept asking me to come back and do a little bit more, a little bit more. I didn't even know that anybody was even filming it until the next day when everybody told me that it was going viral on social media. The community here in my apartment compound is definitely enthusiastic. And even outside of Shanghai, uh, I've received a lot of positive feedback about it. And it makes me feel really good that people have, uh, have gained some positive energy from it. We had been in our apartment maybe around the 26th of March because everything in the city was starting to close down. There really wasn't any reason to be going out. Let's talk about your food. What kind of food do you eat? How do you get it? In our compound, there is a committee that assists the residents in the compound with getting essential supplies. So that means, you know, uh, eggs, milk, veggies, things like that. It is limited supply, but we're at least able to get supplies. So I'm just relying on what the experts say. Zero COVID policy. Uh, it is what it is. And I just think that everybody's doing the best that they can to get things back to normal as quickly as possible. Nobody wants this lockdown situation. But uh, according to some people, this is absolutely necessary in order to prevent the further spread. Other than drumming, have you picked up any other hobbies or interests while you're in quarantine? <laughs> housework. Housework? What kind of housework? House well, you know, it's anything to, to keep the boredom away. So you got so much downtime, you've got to find something to do to keep you occupied. And uh, I got to tell you, my wife couldn't be more thrilled with all the housework. Uh, I'm doing anything that I can just to prevent from sitting around and getting bored. What's the first thing you will do after quarantine? First thing you dream about doing? Getting some tacos. Tacos? <laughs> and definitely uh, getting back to the stage. I know, that, I know that I'm really anxious to get back to performing and my fellow musicians, I know that they feel the same way. And as a result, I, uh, I think that the audiences are going to be uh, very enthusiastic for the return as well. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Charles. Thank you, Rick. Thank you. Hi, Jenny. Hi, hello. How are Very you? Very nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too, that's for sure. I want to know about your community. How did your community handle uh, this whole situation? Yeah, there is a lot of story about my community, yeah. As our community is the biggest community in Shanghai, we have 40,000 residents in our community. 40,000 people in your community? Yeah, 40, nearly 40,000. So how long does it take to test everybody? Can everybody be tested in one day? It will start from early morning, like around 7 o'clock. 
until like uh, 7 p.m. and can finish all the papers. It's quite efficient because they are calling the uh, people building by building. It's not like all of people going down. And now we are doing the antigen test at home. So we just take a photo of the result and post in the WeChat group of each building. It's kind of in order. Everything is still under control now. Since you're in quarantine, have you ever, have you learned any, um, picked up any hobbies? Are you learning something? <laughs> yes, I'm learning to plant vegetables <laughs> like garlic, uh, spring onions uh, or coriander. I found out they are very easy to plant. After two or three days, they all grow with the spring onions. Some people who are in quarantine might go down a little bit in their mood. How about yourself and how do you pick yourself up? I don't know the date of reopening. I cannot just waste time because the life is still going on. So I set my goals like day by day from very small little things. Say today I gonna uh, video myself how I do a new cuisine. So even it spend like two hours, but I feel very happy because I achieved something today. As I say, it is what it is. You can't complain, but the only thing you can do is to, to, to change yourself, to make yourself better. And once it's reopening, you can have enough preparation to face in the new life. Once the quarantine is over, what's the first thing you will do? <sighs> Hot pot. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, you mean? Hi, hello, Mike. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. You are with family there. Uh, yes, yes, yeah. Uh, there are five in my family. Uh, my parents-in-law, a four-year-old daughter, uh, my wife and I. We live together, and uh, I'm mainly in charge of uh, everyone. During the quarantine, if you think it positively, you will find it greatly increase the social interaction with your neighbors. Let's talk about your community. How did your community support you? Do you support your community? Um, fortunately, we own a very responsible community assistant in the building at the beginning. Our community assistants also called tens of volunteers in the building, and I am one of them. We worked in pairs every day by turns. Uh, the major responsibility was to distribute express packages uh, to each household and uh, collect uh, kitchen garbage every day. Mm, previously, I think it's just a nodding acquaintance of some of your neighbors, but now uh, neighbors know much well of each other via the joint efforts uh, to deal with those challenges. Do you believe that the government's policy dealing with the COVID-19 and fighting it, do you believe that they're doing the right thing? Definitely, I, I support the policy, yeah. And it's really appreciated that the government uh, will take the health of the people as the first priority. Feel that the Chinese government is dealing with the COVID situation in a great way. Yes, yes, yes. I I support the policy of what the China government is doing now, because a very big country and such a huge population. If it is like Western countries' policy, it is not good for China. Actually, two years. They are doing these policies. We are seeing very good results, so they should keep this policy until the dynamic zero case. I have more time to keep up my old hobbies, uh, like uh, writing Chinese uh, calligraphy or sometimes uh, playing piano. So I enjoy this. Actually, a very busy time at home. The time going uh, goes very fast. 25 days already passed. So 
but we lost. I mean, we didn't lose anything. This is okay. We are still alive. We are in a good health, and we are we are living. So this is just wait for the result that the, uh, let the government do their their work, and then the people get more healthy, and then you know the whole society will get healthy, and then we will open again. So there is there is only one thing that you have to be patient.